Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Yellow Chair devotional. The name for God today is one that is a little celebratory. It's one that brings about praise and rejoicing and we sing about this one sometimes. Have you sung this song ever? He brought me to his banqueting table. His banner over me is love. He brought me to his banqueting table. His banner over me is love. He brought me to his banqueting table. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. So that's taken from Song of Solomon 2 verse 4. But what does it mean to have God's banner be over us? A banner Today's name for God is Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Nisi, and it means the Lord is my banner. The Lord is my banner. Hmm, so let's think about that as we turn to our first story. So we're going to turn in our Bibles together to Exodus. So that's the second book of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus. We're going to go to Exodus chapter 17. Exodus chapter 17, and this is when the children of Israel are being led by Moses. They are free from slavery, but now they are wandering in the wilderness. They're wandering in the wilderness, and they are coming up against other people who live in the area, and there happens to be a battle that takes place with the Amalekites. So we're going to read about that battle. So Exodus chapter 17 so big number 17, and then look for verse 8. So little number 8. Mine has the heading that says, The Amalekites Fight Israel. And that's verse 8 there. So we're going to read this together. Press pause on the video if you need a little more time to find it. Otherwise, Exodus 17 verse 8 says, At Rephidim, the Amalekites came and fought the Israelites. So Moses said to Joshua, choose some men and go and fight the Amalekites. Tomorrow I will stand on top of the hill. I will hold the stick God gave me to carry. Joshua obeyed Moses and went to fight the Amalekites. At the same time, Moses, Aaron, and Hur went to the top of the hill. As long as Moses held his hands up holding that rod, the Israelites would win. But when Moses put his hands down... The Amalekites would win. Later, Moses' arms became tired, so the men put a large rock under Moses and he sat on it. Then Aaron and Hur held up Moses' hands. Aaron was on one side of Moses and Hur was on the other side. They held his hands up like this until the sun went down. So Joshua defeated the Amalekites in this battle. Then the Lord said to Moses, write about this battle in a book so people will remember and be sure to tell Joshua. Tell him because I will completely destroy the Amalekites from the earth. Then Moses built an altar. He named it, the Lord is my banner, Jehovah Nisi. Moses said, I lifted my hands toward the Lord's throne. The Lord will fight against the Amalekites forever. The Lord is my banner. So maybe we can picture Moses holding his staff up like this and eventually Aaron and her having to hold his arms up. Have you ever tried to just hold your arms up for a real thing? Oh, it does not take long before they get tired, right? Oh man, they start getting tired and then you're holding a stick up there anyways. But does this kind of picture like it almost seems like you're under a banner, right? They're under this rod and God is fighting the battle for them, right? He is fighting and giving them the victory. Moses said, I lifted my hands up toward the Lord's throne. What does this mean? posture or this body language like think about this right so put your hands up in the air if you haven't copied me already put your hands up in the air and just think are my hands pointing towards heaven am i pointing and looking up towards heaven towards god's throne and so moses says the lord is my banner he is over me he is over you now think about a banner. When do we use banners? When do we use flags? 
oh man, maybe for celebrations, maybe we hang a banner for like a birthday. Maybe we wave flags for different holidays. What else do we use a banner for? Maybe a welcome home sign, a celebration. What about when people go off to war, right? Especially in the olden days, they would carry a banner for the different regiments or a banner for the different units. So different areas like I'm from North Dakota or I'm from that uh, Missouri and here's our banner that we are with, like our regiment. So part of it is this idea that God he gives us the victory. We are under his banner. We are part of his regiment, his troop, his team. And also, who does the fighting for us? Oh, he does, right? And we know that how does the story end? How does the Bible end? Jesus wins. We already know that Satan is defeated, right? The war is already won. Are your arms tired yet? Oh my goodness, my arms are getting tired. So we're going to turn now to another verse where it talks about God being our banner. Okay, so we're going to go to Psalms. So how do we find Psalms? It's usually right in the middle, right in the middle. Oh, I, I hit Proverbs, so I've got to go backwards. We want Psalms chapter 20. Psalms chapter 20. And we're going to read. This is a song by David. And he is going to refer to God being our banner or our flag. Okay, so watch for it as we read together. And again, pause if you need more time. Psalms 20 says, May the Lord answer you in times of trouble. May the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from his temple. May he support you from Mount Zion. May he remember all your offerings. May he accept all your sacrifices. May he give you what you want. May all your plans succeed. We will shout for joy when we succeed. We will raise a banner in the name of our God, Jehovah Nisi. May the Lord give you all that you ask for. Now I know the Lord helps his appointed king. He answers him from his holy heaven. He saves him with his strong right hand. Some trust in chariots, others in horses, but we trust the Lord our God. They are overwhelmed and defeated, but we march forward and win. Lord, save the king. Answer us when we call for help. Man, some trust in chariots and others in horses. But we trust in the Lord our God because he is Jehovah Nisi. His victory banner is flying over us. It is flying over us. So we are going to say a prayer here together. And then we'll look at our matching cards for this. All right. So let's say a prayer. Dear God, we are so thankful that you are Jehovah Nisi. You are our banner. And it seems a little funky to think about it, but it means that we are victorious. You are fighting our battles for us. We can celebrate and praise and wave the victory flags because we know that you win. The enemy is defeated. We can celebrate with joy for you being our banner. We thank you so much for your love. Amen. All right, if you are making matching cards with me, let's talk about these. So on the one card, we've got Jehovah Nisi in the Hebrew, and in the other card, we've got the English translation. So the Lord is our banner, or the Lord is my banner. Okay, so it could also be the Lord is my refuge, the Lord gives us victory, the Lord is my flag. Okay, but Nisi comes from the Hebrew, and it kind of means like hoist, or lift up, just like Moses said, you know, we lifted my arms, right? We lifted our arms up towards the throne of God, towards heaven. And so when we think about a banner, the banner waves overhead to show victory, protection, and comfort. We praise God for his loving banner, right? His banner over me is love. And the work is already done. He has rescued us and saved us. He has defeated Satan for us. We can celebrate and praise him. All right, so all of this I include in the video description below.
On our other card, we can pick a Bible verse from what we've read together. And I put, Moses built an altar and called it, the Lord is my banner. Genesis 17, 15. All right, but you could pick whichever one of these verses you would like that you want to kind of write and keep special. Then when we're playing a matching game, how do I know that I have matched the right cards together? Well, I've got the same thing on the back, right? So I've got some stripey scrapbook paper, but you could draw a picture of a banner, right? You could draw a banner on both of them. You could choose just one color or a pattern, whatever you want. You just want them to be the same. So when you flip them over, you know that you have got a match. All right, so have a wonderful rest of your day thinking about what it means to you that God is your banner and celebrate that. Wave some flags today. Sing some praises today. Let's not trust in chariots or horses or things of this world. Let's trust in God whose banner over us is love. I will see you tomorrow.